uh, which is we hear a lot of different information on infection rates in children and the risk to children. We've heard studies showing that children have similar viral loads to adults, which may suggest that children could be as contagious as adults, but then other studies like the recent one in Saxony have stated that the first results gave no evidence that school children played a role in spreading the virus particularly quickly. Question is, I know this is being investigated, but what is the current medical profession's view? And I think this is really getting at the sort of question, not like the risk to the children per se, but what about the risk of a child getting the infection in school and taking it back to their household? So, so the evidence, as I said, the evidence from, we've got a number of outbreaks that have been written up from schools. Um, children don't seem to be, uh, they are not the super spreaders. So we, we see, what we're seeing in adults is um, adult to adult transmission, adult to child transmission. We don't seem to see the child to adult transmission. Um, and we don't seem to see the super spreading events that probably contribute 80% of the cases that we're seeing. So there's something very different here. The risk for um, the children, and this is the big risk, particularly in a city like Bradford where we've got multi-generational households, and this is what Dominic, uh, Duncan touched upon in terms of the household protection, is the potential for asymptomatic transmission from a child to someone else in the family. And that is all goes back to you know, key basic infection pre uh, prevention control of hand washing, social distancing, and, um, and, and protecting other people, vulnerable people in the house.